Panacotta Fugo was born into tremendous wealth and lived on a vast estate outside Napoli. He was blessed not only with a life of luxury and privilege, but with a great intellect as well. To many, he lived the perfect life, devoid of any hardship. But what the public didn't see were the many expectations placed on Fugo's shoulders. The pressure from them was crushing his spirit day by day. At times, Fugo suffered bouts of inexplicable rage, which caused him to act out. It was a deep anger that took all his might to contain. At the age of just 13, he began university. It was there that his near uncontrollable furor erupted into tragedy. Fugo. Oh, Professor. Now what could you be up to at this ungodly hour? It's for our assignment. I can't find the judicial precedent. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. You know that you can always come to me with anything hard that arises? No. I wouldn't want to trouble you if I don't have to. Guiding gifted young men like you is no trouble at all. It's my scholarly duty. How about it? Have dinner at my place and I'll teach you a few things. I have to go. Now wait just a moment. I'd be more than happy to loose my lips regarding the questions on the next big test. Everything stop. is going to be just Stop fine. it. Relax, you're in stop good it, hands. Stop it, stop it, stop Let it, stop it, stop it, stop it, get your hands off me! I looked up to you! I wanted to be like you! You disgusting piece of shit! I heard professoris get real cozy with Fugo. You sure Fugo didn't bait the hook? That would explain how he got into a school like this. Fugo's parents leveraged their wealth to ensure all charges were dropped. But they no longer treated him like a son, and he was no longer part of the family. Without support, Fugo turned to shoplifting and pickpocketing for survival. In an ironic twist of fate, it was his new way of life that would make full use of his intellect. Did you think you could just run away without paying? I'll make sure you rot in jail! Sorry, but you will never be able to put me behind bars. I take it you're not familiar with De Sica versus Argento, 1982? Based on the results of that case, it is highly likely that the court will determine I acted out of basic necessity. Bucciarati, please, you have to do something about this child! Hmm. How interesting. Fugo's visit happened to occur right as Bucciarati was pondering the formation of his own team. There. Now you basically know everything about me. You can stop feeling sorry for me. I'm not unhappy if that helps. I see. Hmm. I don't think you're here today by chance. Would you join my team, Panacotta Fugo? Your intellect is one of a kind. I'm sorry, but I can't. I've got nothing against becoming a mafioso, but I've made up my mind. It's for the best if I go it alone in life. Oh? Why is that? I told you. When I lose my temper, my darkest thoughts take over. If I acquiesced and joined up with your team, I couldn't guarantee I wouldn't kill you. Well, lucky for you. I'm willing to bet on those odds. Leave your past and come with me. I swear you and your talents will be respected. I want you here, demons and all. His words stirred Fugo's soul. Soon after, Fugo would undergo Pulpo's test and would acquire purple smoke. <laughs>